an excess of a super kale blend inspired these five quick recipes perfect to help you through the week. Welcome back to Cravings Food Adventures. I'm Karen Ahmed. I haven't done a meal prepping video in a long time, but I recently took on a new role, which is going to be quite challenging. And to make time for myself during the week, I'm going to be prepping on Sundays. Now, my husband bought a very large bag of super kale mix, and I'm going to be using this in some different recipe ideas. So you can make these as well in your own home. Super kale mix is great to have as a salad, but it's nice to know that you can turn it into some other great ideas as well. Before I go any further with this recipe, do make sure you subscribe to my channel and make sure to ring that bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Now, let's get prepping. I'm going to start with a barley stir fry. Heat some oil and add half a cup of sliced onions. I'm going to add about 100 grams of sausage. You can add as much as you like. I'm going to cook this well on both sides. I pre-soaked a cup of barley and I just boiled it for 5 minutes. The barley has doubled in size, it's been drained and I'm going to add it in. Spread the barley out, this is when it's really handy to cook this in a big wok. Add a bit more oil if you need to. I'm just looking for the barley to caramelize just a little bit. I'm going to add 1 tablespoon of dark soy sauce. 1 tablespoon of chili garlic sauce and I'm going to mix it well together. Taste and add more salt if required. I'm going to add 4 cups of the super kale mix and I'm going to mix this in. I'm also going to add 1 cup of boiled egg. I just chopped this up and I'm going to mix it in. Next I'm going to work on the soup. I have 4 cups of water heating up and I've just added 1 bouillon cube. This is about 10.5 grams. I'm going to add one bay leaf and two tablespoons of julienne of ginger. The ginger will help flavor the soup. Once the water starts to boil and the bouillon tube has dissolved, I'm going to give this a mix and taste for salt. Add salt and pepper to taste. Next, I'm going to add one can of kidney beans. This is 540 ml and 19 fluid ounces. These have been drained and rinsed. I'm also going to add two cups of my super kale mix. Mix this and allow it to cook for just about a minute. We want the wedgies to still maintain some crunch and color. Now I'm going to make some hash browns that I know the kids love and I'm gonna sneak some of that super kale mix in it. I have four cups of grated potatoes and I've just squeezed all of the liquid out of them by squeezing it through a cheesecloth. I also have a cup of super kale mix. I'm going to add one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of paprika, salt and pepper to taste. I'm going to add two tablespoons of flour and one egg to bind everything together. Mix everything well together. I'm just going to divide these for now and flatten them before I fry them. I have some oil heating up and I'm going to shallow fry it. All your hands, grab the mixture, flatten it and insert them into the hot oil. The potato is raw so cook this for a few minutes on each side. Remove after cooking and drain it on some kitchen towel. Now for the kale fried rice. Heat some oil in a wok. Add half a cup of onion and I'm going to add four cups of cooked jasmine rice. This was two cups before I cooked it. I'm going to crack in an egg. Add two tablespoons of light soy sauce. I'm also going to add two tablespoons of sriracha sauce. Allow the egg to set before starting to mix everything in together with the rice. Now I'm going to add 2 cups of the super kale mix. 
Add more sriracha and soya to taste. And finally, I'm going to make some chicken in black bean sauce with kale. Heat some oil and add half a cup of sliced onions and two tablespoons of julienne of ginger. I have one pound of chicken here and I've just cut this into small cubes. I'm using thigh but you can also use breast if you like. I'm going to add two tablespoons of black bean paste and some of the oil. Black bean paste is a fermented paste and it's got that great umami flavor. Mix this in. I'm going to add salt to taste and I'm adding one tablespoon of kisap manis. This is an Indonesian sweet soya sauce. It's a little sticky and it will balance the salt in the bean paste well. It's also commonly called ketchup manis. Add a cup of stock, allow this to come to the boil and cook the chicken. I'm just going to add in two cups of the super kale mix. I have a cornstarch slurry here. This is just cornstarch mixed in with water. And I'm going to drizzle in a teaspoon or so to thicken the sauce. You can now mix and match these recipes any way you wish to create healthy meals for your family. Enjoy! Thank you so much for joining me on Cravings for Adventures. I hope you enjoyed these delicious ideas that you can take and turn into meal ideas in your own home. If you love this video, give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment below. I love hearing from you, so tell me what you think about this video. Also, let me know what other videos you're looking for. If you like this recipe as well, share it with your family and friends so they can enjoy it as well. And don't forget to follow me behind the scenes on all my social channels. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter. Until I see you next time, do take care.